good afternoon class 6 today we are going to discuss the revision chapters okay so first comes the natural numbers the numbers 1 2 3 4 to infinity those are termed as the natural numbers basically 1 to infinite or infinity that is known as i mean those numbers are the natural numbers okay uh, integers when zero is included with the natural number then those are known as whole numbers or integers so 0 1 2 infinity this is my whole number or integer even numbers numbers 0 2 4 6 8 they are the even numbers or even integers odd numbers the numbers the uh, 1 3 5 7 9 11 they are the odd numbers okay next we come to place value of a number in case of any number First digit from the right hand side is a digit in the units place. Second digit is a tens. Third uh, digit is in the hundreds place. So, uh, so on and so forth. Right. So, if I take an example of a number that is 8, 6, 4, 2. So, in the extreme right I am having 2. So, 2 is the number. I mean, it's a digit in the units place. Okay. This one is a digit in tens place. And this uh, 6 is a digit in the hundreds place. 8 is a digit in thousands place, okay? So, if I give uh, their place values, so 8, what is the place value? 8 is in is a digit in thousands place, so 8 into 1000. 6 is the digit in hundreds place, so 6 into 100 means a digit multiplied by its place value. Plus 4 into its place value, that is 10, and 2 into 1, which is the place value of 2. So, if I uh, just um, multiply and sum up 8000 plus 600 plus 40 plus 2, I will be getting this particular number only. Okay. Next, we come to prime numbers and composite numbers. A number which is divisible by 1 and itself and not divisible by any other number that is called a prime number. For example, 2, 3, uh, 5, 7, etc. Next, a number which is divisible not only by one and itself but also by other numbers it's called, is called a composite number. For example, 6, 12, 15, etc. The number 1 is neither prime nor composite. Next, we move to numbers prime to each other. If two integers do not contain any common factor other than 1, then they are called prime to each other. For example, 4 and 9 are prime to each other. right? Because we don't have any common factor of uh, between 4 and 9. Because 4 we see it is divisible by 2 while 9 is divisible by 3. So, there is no such common factor between 4 and 9 except 1. Next, multiple and factor. When a number is exactly divisible by another number, former is called the multiple of the latter. Okay, latter is called the factor. For example, 15 is exactly divisible by 3. 3, 5 is a 15, right? So, 15 is the multiple of 3. Right? And 3 is a factor of 15. Now, next we move to multiplication. When a number is multiplied by the other number, a result is obtained. So, we can write in case of multiplication, product. The result is known as the product. It is your what? It is equals to multiplicand, multiplicand into multiplier. Means two numbers will be multiplied. One is your multiplicand, other one is your multiplier. Okay, if we talk about division, when a number is divided by another number, the number which is divide, which is divided by another number, that is called the dividend. The number by which it is divided, it's called the divisor. Result of division is called the quotient. And in certain cases, if the dividend is not exactly divisible by the divisor, then, then the excess is known as the remainder. So, we have a common formula that is dividend equals to your uh, divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, these are the common formulas which uh, is there in the revision part of the chapter. Now, we will be looking into the sums from the exercise. So, like for example here, exercise 3, if I move to exercise 3, um, so 
Sum number 1 if I do, if the multiplicand is 4175 and multiplier is 102, find the product. So it is a straight cut formula. Product is equals to what? Product is equals to uh, multiplicand into multiplier. Okay. So multiplicand is given as 4175. And multiplier is 102. So if you multiply, we are going to get the answer. So let's multiply this one. 4175, 102. 5 to the 10, 7 to the 14, 15. 2 1 2, 3. 4 to the 8. This is your 0. 5, 7, 1, 4. This one. So 0, 5, 8, 15. This one. 4, 2, 5, 8, 5, 0. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. When we move to the next one, next sum also from the exercise, it is your uh, sum number 7. Sum number 7, the question is, if the divisor is 2, 1, 5 and quotient is 1, 2, 4, Find the dividend and here in the bracket see it is given assuming uh, the remainder be 0. Assuming remainder be 0. So we will be applying in the formula that we have done in case of the division part. That is dividend equals to divisor into quotient. Because remainder is given as 0 so that value we have to ignore. So dividend equals to sum number 7. Dividend equals to divisor into quotient okay. so um, so here we have to find out the dividend divisor is given as 215 and quotient is given as what 124 here also we have to multiply and then only we have to give the product so 215 into 124 sorry 124 it is 5 4 is a 20, 4 1 is a 4, 5 6, 2 4 is a 8, 5 2 is a 10, 2 1 is a 2, 3, 2 2 is a 4, 5 1 is a 5, 1 here 2, 6, uh, this one is 8, uh, 8 and 16, 5 6, is it okay? 2, uh, 2 triple 6 0, it's fun, uh, let me check once, um, 1 of 5, 1, 2, 1, 1 is a 1. Um, yeah. Uh, 2, triple 6, 0. This one. Okay, so that's it class um, 6. We are going to continue it in the next videos. Thank you.